okay guys so in this video let's create a product model and what is a product model it is basically a blueprint of the product object inside your database that is it contains all the properties related to your object that is the product object and the properties we want in our product is the name and the price and name should be a string and price should be a number and to define a model we can use the mongoose schema so let's go here inside our root folder and here we'll create a new folder called models because we are following the MVC pattern and inside this model folder let's create a new file that would be called product.model.js product.model.js like this and here we'll define our product model so firstly we need to require mongoose so const mongoose equal to require mongoose and then we need the schema from this mongoose thing so const schema equal to mongoose dot schema and now to create a product schema what we need to do we simply need to say const product schema equal to new schema and then here we need to pass in the properties related to this product model and the properties we want here is the name and then we can pass in another object here that is the type of this property and to define the type what we can do we can simply provide type here and the type would be string like this and whether this property is required when a new product is created we should mark it yes so we can mark it that yes by saying required to be true like this and then the other property we want in our product model is the price so price would be of type number so we pass in the type here that is number and then whether the price is always required when you whenever you create a new product and it is always required so price required to be true like this so basically we have a product schema ready and now to create a product model from this product schema what we can do we can simply say const product equal to mongoose dot model and here it would take in two parameters Firstly, the model name and the model name we want in our database would be product. And what Mongoose does is that that it pluralizes this product to products as a collection inside our database. So our collection would be called products. And secondly, here we need to pass in the schema and the schema is the product schema. So we can pass in product schema like this. And now to use this product model anywhere inside our application, what we need to do, we need to export this product model. So for that, what we can do, we can simply say module dot exports equal to product. And that is the product model we are exporting here. And now our product model is ready. And if we go to the mongoose website here, we see that the permitted schema types are string number date and so on and so forth it can also contain an array it can contain a map so here if you go to the top here we have a blog schema that is defined inside this mongoose documentation here the properties are the title the author and the body all of type of strings and then this date property here has a type of date and it has a default value of date dot now and then so on and so forth but our product model is very simple because since it's a beginner's tutorial so we are keeping it very simple to have a product schema contains a name which of which is of type string and a price which is of type of number so guys that's all about this video so probably in the next video we'll be creating our first product using this product model so till then have a good time